Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Lexi the Duelist Link Evolution. Today we're going to finish off the reverse duels for Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and we're going to have some pretty fun duels I think. Going to start things off with, oh, I can't remember his name, I know you're, well you was Jacob right? He was the guy before he fused. Uh, no you're Lester, I think this guy's Lester. I think it was Lester, Jacob and there's the other dude I can't remember his name. But these guys are using the, uh, the time, no, mech lords. And this guy has skill? Skill something and something else. <laughs> uh, vaguely, vaguely, I don't remember some of them, but um, let's see what we got. Right. Grammar, Weisel, and MST, Destruction Potion, okay. Not sure how to use the Mech Lords. I know they eat up Synchros, which is going to be great, but... To get out the boss monsters? I'm not too sure. Can you equip this to a level 1 monster? A monster equipped with this card can attack your opponent's life points directly. Ooh, okay. Um, this card gains 100 attack for each Mech Lord monster on the field. Except this card. Oh, okay, that sucks. Once per turn, when another Mech Lord monster you control declares they attack on a defense position monster your opponent controls, can I activate this effect during that battle if it attacks a defense position monster for Pearson. And this one. Uh, when this card is normal summon, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls half the target's attack. Well, there's no point doing that because that's face down, so I guess we summon this dude for now. And then we'll just attack the face down. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Uh, main phase two. We will set that and set MST. For a split second, I forgot we were dueling Jack Atlas, and I was thinking Scrap Iron Scarecrow is so common. And I was like, oh wait, no, it's not you. Say it's all good. <laughs> right. What else you can do, Jack? Another face down. Okay. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, during your main phase, you can destroy this face-up card in the field. Your opponent must control a monster of higher attack this card. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's just go for this. I know we're going to lose out its effect, but it's fine. They get 100 attack each boost, that's fine. And then we we'll attack you. Oh, wait, no, if we attack with... It's when... Another mech lord, so this will do Pearson. No, I'm gonna say yes, the effect. Oh, dude. That's annoying. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, dude, that's actually annoying. I, I didn't think I'd have to activate the effect, so when it kept prompting, I thought it was gonna just be MST or the potion. I was like, oh, dude, that's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. Next turn, we'll get the Pearson. Just missed out on what, like 1,100 damage? Because of stupid prompts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, not gonna miss out this time. Ooh, there's skill. Uh, cannot be normal summon set, must be special, special summoned by its own effect. Cannot be special summoned by any other ways. When a face up monster you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, um, you can special summon this card from your hand. Right, so th we can do this, right? But you don't control face-up monster, that's the problem. But we can do this, actually, it's fine. So if we go summon this, and then we do this, destroy this, and then effect, special summon this, nice. Uh, monster control cannot declare an attack once per turn. Tell one synchro monster your opponent control is equipped to this target. Uh, you can send one monster you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard. This card can take opponent directly, but it doesn't matter because this lets me attack directly anyway, so. All good. All good. So if we attack for 2200, and then not next turn, but the turn after. 
we can probably just activate uh, limit removal and win. Okay, I think we got this. If, can I? I know I can't attack with other monsters if this is on the. Is it when it's on the field? Like, can I attack with these and not attack with this skill? I don't know. Uh, gonna save that for when Red Dragon Archfiend comes out. Attack directly. And the next turn we're gonna win by activating limit removal, so it's all good. Unless he summons Red Dragon Archfiend now and then just wrecks me. We'll see. Oh, nope, just send another card. Great. So we're gonna win. Uh Battle phase. Yeah, so they, they can't attack if it's in the field. Attack directly. And then activate this now. 4,400. Hey! What a way to win! Okay, next door. Got this guy's name, but Primo. Okay, that was it. All right, you go first. Okay. All good. Got creature swap. Mechlord Fortress. Okay. Mechlord Emperor. Something. 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 Didn't get to see the rest of that. I'll probably save creature swap for Red Dragon Archfiend or something. So, Mech Lord Emperor, monsters you control cannot be targeted by the effects of Synchro monsters. When this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can add one Mech Lord Emperor monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, so activate that. What's this? Change the immediate defense position monsters on the field as possible to face with attack position, then special summon one mech lord monster from your deck or graveyard, but its effects are negated and it's destroyed from their face. Okay. So we just summon this dude. Half your attack. Oh, effects failure, okay. Oh, and wing blast. Oh, what? Why? Why? I guess he pretty wants Vela in the the um, graveyard mm -hmm. for some reason, but okay. No! Bless me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Battle phase. I'll take one free. It's fine. It's all good. So we just summon this again. Activate the effect. You want to effect fail on me again or something? Nope. And then we're just gonna. I'm not gonna take it twice, but just a bit more damage, you know. 950. Whew. Okay. And then we end. This door is just going really slow right now. <laughs> like, I've seen some, like, footage of, like, you know, decks nowadays just playing. It's just like. I kind of miss of just, you know, summon one monster, set maybe one or two back row and there's end and just a bit slower paced, but that's uh, just me. Okay, this card gains 200 attack for each Mech Lord monster on the field. Except this card, uh, when this card is dropped by bouncing the Grave Express on one Mech Lord army monster from your deck. Sick. Let's get that, be on 1 4. So thank you. Approach your attack, doesn't actually matter anyway. Jag must have brick to be fair, if like he literally only summoned Dark Resonator. I'm okay with this. Probably should have set Destruct Potion, but it's fine. It's all good. Okay, face down's a little bit scary, but should be fine. And then, I'm gonna risk it. 
Let's go for some mass damage. Oh, compulse, okay. It's fine, I'd rather you compulse this than like, you know, my boss monster or something. Oh, okay. Pinpoint guard. Okay. It's fine. Okay, cool. More creature swaps, right? Let's summon it again. And then we are going to attack the face down. Which is another dark resonator. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Dark resonator man just just stolen for days. If we can just get the wise for the piercing, then it would be so good. Come on, come on. Hey, let's go! Ask and you shall receive, boy. Alright, so if we go battle phase now. And then we attack. Activate effect. Do some piercing. On oh there you go. That's it or not. Can do it again. No, it's just once. Okay, it's fine. And two one. Oh Jack man. You don't have some good duels, are you? You just keep getting wrecked. I feel bad for you. <laughs> really do. The only way I can see him maybe coming back is going like Vice Dragon, then Red Dragon. Oh. Or Tricky, and then Dark Resonator or again or something. Nope. Oh, no point using that, is there? It's gonna crash and then win. So face down wants to try and stop me, that is. Or oh, we just do this, it's fine. <laughs> uh, tech. Yep. Win? Hey! Easy peasy. Okay, next is this big dude. Like, he's so big, he takes like half the screen. Like, pretty much more than half the screen. <laughs> oh man. No, I was thinking about this the other day, which is kind of funny. Like, it's. I like how Yu-Gi-Oh went from kind of like modern times that are more about like ancient Egypt and like you know just this mysterious power. Then like you went to GX where it's just kind of like modern times, and then you get the five Ds in the future, Zeal in the future, Arc Five in the future, and then like I haven't seen Reigns, but it looks super futuristic. <laughs> I was just like, it keeps getting more futuristic and futuristic, and then. I kind of hope the next Yu-Gi-Oh kind of goes. I guess like modern times again would be nice, but I feel like it'll go even further futuristic. And oh, we can get this out already. Uh, you can send one of those equipment. Okay. Oh, just what a hand, you know. Probably should keep that. Okay, cool. I suppose there's not an animation to be fair. I'm just gonna tank that. No! Scrap Iron Scarecrow! Of course, as you say. Oh, just in case he somehow manages to destroy this with something, we can just. Uh, yeah. Do that. Wow. What a, what a first hand, though. Like. That's crazy. Go on, go into defense. Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. That's what I thought. Uh, change rate. As many defense position monsters on the field as possible to face up attack position and special on one mechlord monster from your deck or graveyards. Okay, that's fine. We will have to wait for that next turn and then we can go in with the attacks. 
Unless he makes something. I think he can probably make Draw Warrior soon. Doesn't Draw Warrior like half my attacks like Turbo Warrior? One of them. I'll just eat other Synchros so it's all good. Right, so. If we activate this. Whoo! Let's go, boy! It's only one of these ones, so let's go for. That guy. Right, I think this works if I do it like this as well. We go battle phase. Let's attack that zero. Attack one is gonna negate it. I think he might try to negate it to be fair. Oh he's not gonna, okay. Activate the effect. Pop this. Oh wait, no, then I can't attack with the big dude, can I? I don't think I can attack with this now. I had MST as well, but... It's fine, it's fine. Uh, it's actually kind of annoying, I should have waited. Then just gonna MST the scrap. Oh, dude, that's kind of annoying. What? Oh, I think I had to clear the attack first. Oops, my bad. My bad. I didn't mean to do it like that. I thought MST was gonna go in before the attack, but that's my fault. Dude, I'm so annoyed. I shouldn't have summoned it out. I should have saved it. Well, it was the best time to get it out then, than in there, to be fair, but... That's the issue. So you can make a junk... Archer? No, you can't. That's a six. So junk archer seven. That's a six. Uh, junk warrior. Okay. And then that'll be 2006 when you attack. You can destroy the Weisel dude, which I kind of hope you do. Oh, okay. Make an eight. Stardust. Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay. Okay. I swear if he summons like, I don't know, Majestic Dragon or something to make Red Nova or whatever, it's, it's going to be annoying, but... Oh, destroy the chick, it's all good. Right, so if we activate the effect, eat that, <laughs> 5,500 boy. Well, this is... This is great. He's just getting that big beater out the first turn, like, what's he gonna do, you know? Like, it's great when you got a deck like this and you misplay a little bit. Or a lot, and you can still just... Still just do this. It's crazy. Uh, ooh. Okay. I might just draw my big boss monster in a second just to um, destroy whatever face down he's got. It's just a monster, right? Yeah, destroy. Cool. Just one card to destroy anything. You say whatever you do, man, it's going to get destroyed, so I wouldn't even think about it. What's this? Huh, cool. Destroy a big boss monster, because why not? And then... Could have summoned that dude, but I was scared that I won't be able to, like, summon any- oh, attack? There you go. That was... That was fun. That was really fun. Alright, fight for the future. Get to use them TGs, boy get to use them TGs, which I don't remember how to use, which is annoying. I remember some of the cards, like I think it's Warwolf and stuff, but I just don't remember how to actually get the stuff out. I just remember like loving the artwork about the Magician and stuff. Right, so we have 15 extra egg monsters. 
which is crazy. Uh, let's try and get Halberd Cannon out, because that's like his, his big boy. So it's one Tuna Synchro monster, and two or more non-Tuna Synchro monsters. That's going to be hard to get out, dude. Honestly. Uh, once a turn you can special summon level 3 or lower TG mo Tuna monster from your hand. Six. We can make a level 3. Do we have a level 3? We don't. Uh, during the end phase, this card was in the grave because it was destroyed on the field. You can send there uh, this turn. You can target. You can have one TG monster from your deck to your hand. Just summon there. This first turn. Uh, destroy the opponent's monster by balance to the graveyard. Target one TG secret monster in your graveyard. Which is That's really good for later on. Target one monster your opponent controls. Target one TG monster you control. Switch both control. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that will do. This is good. I hope. Reinforcements, go for it. Okay. It's fine. Scrap Iron Scarecrow, most likely. <laughs> Alright, so. There's Warwolf. What do you do again? Except when damage express from this card from your hand. So if we go this, special summon magician, then with that wolf can get special summoned. Right, cool. So we can make a few different things here. Um, what do we want to make? Ugh, on this card is synchro, so I'm going to draw one card. This card is synchro summon, type one spell, trap card on the field, type this card on the field, destroy, draw one card. Once per change, during your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect melee after this effect resolves, synchro summon using this card you control. I think I'm going to get this. Destroy your back row. Taking bets, do you think it's a scrap iron scarecrow? I think it could be. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, Mirror Force! Oh, snap! Woo! I'm glad I made her, because that was definitely the right choice. Um, then we should go. Let's do this. We'll take that. You can have this. Okay. Uh, then go battle phase. Tech. All right, I think that was pretty good. So she's a tuner as well. So we got we got plays potentially. Whew. I think we get. No, what was the um, not Halberd Cannon? The number four. It. Just gonna special summon that. That's fine. This is a ten. Okay. How do you make it? One Tuna Synchro Monster and one or more non Tuna Synchro Monsters. Ooh, okay, that's why we can't make it. Alright, battle phase. Well, let's go. Tag you. Tag this. Nice. 
Two unknown synchrons. Feel bad, man. Feel bad. And then one more. Nice, you have 1,600. We got this in the bag. Two face, let's four cards in hand now. He's got plenty of plays left. Okay. Junk Synchron, okay, that's a pretty good card to start off with. That's a tuner as well, so that's four. Oh, battle phase, cool. <laughs> it's fine. That is fine. And what do we want? That's free check field. Free. Five, six, seven. Uh, six. If we get Hyper Librarian. For two. Then we can go from there. That'll be a ten. Would that make the, the thing? I think it does. Right, I think this works. I think. Or not. What? That makes a f oh, we can't because that stupid thing, the new rule. Oh my god. I keep forgetting about that, man. Like, I want to make Hyper Librarian, and we can make the thing, and then... But, the stupid rule. Um, Target 1 TG Monster, you're control attack and defense each become half its current attack and defense and if they do destroy one spell truck on the field okay what do we destroy call the haunted cool right so we I think we win yeah we win easy sorry you say sucks to be you but that was quite easy <laughs> All right, last duel. Hope. Gotta try and get the uh, the big Time Lord dude out. Cause he's got animation in this game for some reason. I guess he's like the, the final duel of five easy. I think he deserves one. All right, so I got absolutely wrecked because I don't know um, how to really use this deck, and I was just. Uh, Misplaying and misplaying and misplaying. But I think I understand a little bit better. Still not great. So, um, yeah, let's see what we need to do. Oh, we got this dude that does. At the end of the battle phase, this card battled half your opponent's life points. The problem is, he might have Scrap Iron Scarecrow, which is not good. So, if we just summon this. And then we're gonna try and attack. Please don't scrap me. Yep, there's a scrap iron scarecrow. At least we've got MST to get rid of it next turn. Right. Uh, so, we'll end turn. Okay, this is going okay ish. He's got a second Scrap Iron, that's where things get a bit dicey. So I think I could potentially Dark Hole, stay alive, attack him, do 4,000? The end of the damage step, but okay. He's trying to get shooting Quasar out. Let's make him plays. Right. So. Let's MST that scrap 100% because that just scrap stops this deck from doing anything. Right, you. This card battled and your, and your life points are less than 4,000. Your life points become 4,000. Don't need that. Uh, flip on the low on your opponents. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference.
contribute this card at one time or more from a zero attack from your deck to your hand. Can... Right, what if we do this? Special summon you. Activate effect. Was it this one? No. Which one did the life points? Yeah, get this. For the love of God, please don't have another scrap. Wait, scrap mm -hmm. iron scarecrow. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, he's gonna have another scrap, you know he is. That's you say. King of scrap. Oh my god he did, he had two. Oh wow. That's actually kind of annoying. I hate this, I hate this so much. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do at the moment. I think what we'll do is we dark hole, summon shining angel. Won't be able to attack, but Shine Angel will keep us, and then we, need, we just need like two monsters on the field at once. Okay. Cool Dragon. Okay. Cool. Right, so that's an eight, so you can make Stardust if you want. Please don't make Stardust though, because Dark Core doesn't work. That's perfect. Thank you very much. This is good. He draws a card, that's all fine. Right, so. That goes back. Let's dark hole. And then we can, we'll set this. To try and tag into it. Well, we had a dark hole anyway because I couldn't set Shining Angel because it Red Dragon Archon would just destroy the effect, so it wouldn't be destroyed by battle and we wouldn't get the effect. Soul Charge. Oh, snap. Okay. Four. Five. He's going in. Oh, snap. You say he's going in. He wants to get that shooting Quasar out bad. Can he get it? Um, I don't think so. Oh, that's kind of annoying. It's really annoying. Okay. Uh. Alright, so we'll just do that and then, um. Uh, we'll just summon this and then we'll end. Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend, sometimes I love your effect. <laughs> Dude, you just used Soul Charge and went in and then didn't do anything with it, really. It's crazy. If you can get out... Oh, I don't know, what... Shun Quasar has 12, he's got 11 there, he just needs one more... Synchro Tuna, but I don't know what he's going to do. Right, so if we activate this, we'll just guard a card. This, draw a card. Got no banished card, so that sucks. Just got to summon this and can't attack a scrap. We can draw another MST, that would be brilliant, but I feel like we're just gonna wait here until you say probably decks out. Because I remember trying to do this door when I was playing as you say, and it was really difficult. Because there's not much you can do, there's not much he can do. It's just, just chilling here until something, something can happen. Right, I don't know what this second card is though, so I'm going to activate and use that. So 
So we return that. And then we get this, which I have no idea what it does. So let's read it. I have this card by sending one face up empty machine, which is that, right? Yeah. From your spell and trap zone to the grave once per turn, this face up card cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effect. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. You're in the main phase, special summon one time lord monster from your hand. Great. You can target one time lord monster in your graveyard, shuffle into the deck, then set one infinite light directly from your hand or deck. And this is infinite light. I like this card by sending one face up infinite machine, which is that. Uh, from spell and trap to the graveyard, this face up card cannot be destroyed by battle. By sorry, destroy by your opponent's card effects. Neither player can target Time Lord monsters. You can trouble card effects. Nice. Or return Time Lord monsters from the field to the deck. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can special someone up to one Time Lord monster, each from your hand, deck, or graveyard, with different names, ignoring the summoning conditions. Oh, snap! So that's pretty good. So, um, just summon this, just give us a life for a turn, and then we'll get infinite light out, and then we're good. Okay! This is very good. So we activate this. And we activate this. Get rid of that. Okay. This is... We win now, right, surely? Because he can't target, target us with Scrap Iron Scarecrow, so we can just start attacking, I think. Oh, okay. Why do you attack? What is that? No, no, what's my effect again for this? Just summon it, because I needed it to survive. Um. Oh, that's fine. Uh, what? Once per turn, if they control no monsters. Oh, so I control no monsters. What can I do in here? I also get this out. And then can I just. Nope, don't do that. Uh... Right, so we summon this. Two tributes, is it worth it? Right, so if we go battle phase, let's see if this works. We want to attack that. Attack that, why not? And then we end, and then you should take half life points, and then you just do nothing because we have 8,000. Hey, we'll get in there. Kind of room for you said to get shooting star or shooting quasar out there a little bit, but I don't think he's gonna. Unless he can. That's what? That's 9, 10. If you can get formula out? Maybe? No. Because formula would make 13. He's got to somehow get the level down by one. Oh, battle phase, okay. <laughs> oh, this is great. Goodbye, level eater. Alright, what do you do? Then if I activate, I don't, I don't know if this works, if it does work this is good. If I activate this, and I put that back in the graveyard, activate the effect, and then we get... This? 
and then we go battle phase, attack this, attack this, and then we end, I think. We take 500, we'll shuffle that. And then I think you take a thousand if you draw here, right? And then I win. Yeah. Hey! Right to the end. Woo! Alright, so we finished 5Ds. 100% complete, dude. We are 100% in this game. So, next episode, we're going to start Zeal, which is going to be fun. And I'm going to get them in the comments again telling me, It's not Zeal, it's Axel! But it's actually pronounced both ways, because in Japanese it's pronounced Zeo, and I watched it in Japanese, so I'm always calling it Zeo. Yeah, boy. Because I'm a weeb. But that's about it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.